in terms of latest developments, um, a couple of years ago, um, the, the crown trial data came out and we actually saw an update on that data recently. And so we know we have really good drugs like lorlatinib that was presented in the crown trial that inhibit ALK activity. And so things like lorlatinib can now even be used as first line therapies and treatment of ALK driven lung cancer. So I'd say it's sort of the biggest challenge though lies in the context of resistance um, and specifically there's we think about on target resistance in which there are single or compound mutations that occur in the alk gene itself that render it basically um that render drugs basically ineffective by virtue of changing uh, drug binding so that uh, certainly is um is an active area investigation for a lot of pharmaceutical companies to try and understand how they can develop better ALK inhibitors. But I'd say that from a biologic perspective, what we really don't have a good handle on in the context of ALK TKI resistance or tyrosine kinase inhibitor resistance is what other bypass pathways are upregulated to compensate um, and basically bypass ALK activity. So that's an area of, of active investigation. Lots of people are working on trying to understand what those other pathways are that bypass ALK activity. And I think that that's going to be a really exciting area in the future.